Yep, so it's fine. I'll make a training room. Okay, so Torp Bombers it is. Oh, yeah. RPF. <laughs> you don't really need RPF at tier 4, but RPF at tier 10 is hilarious. What a difference it is from tier 4. <laughs> Spotted. Oh. Little clips of health. There's a Neptune in the way. And there's a Tashkent. Alright, so that's not going to happen. Let's back off. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting by going down the middle. I probably should have gone along to the border and along the border if I was. I was thinking, oh, well, maybe I can. That's a bot in smoke. I'm not going to drop the smoke because, again, it's a bot in smoke. It's, it's just going to sail straight out of it. Ooh, that hurt a bit. It's another thousand. All right. Oh, thank you for the sub, Bill Benham. Oh, it's a player. It's a player. It's a player. <laughs> Where is he? Up. Uh, ooh, ooh, one. Two. Ah. Uh. Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's good. Mmm. I felt good. I felt so good. That was amazing. <laughs> Ah, oh, there you go. Triple stealth drop, DD and smoke. Wait for that guy to land. Wait for the next guy to land. Hey, presto, I now have 12. 12 planes, let's take off. Okay. Now, against a bot, that wouldn't have worked uh, because the bots don't stay still in smoke. But against the player, it's possible. And hey presto, it just became possible. Uh, that's a bot, he's about to die. I'm not sure how quickly that eye was going to be fair. You know what? If I dive in, the Neptune can't see me because I'm too low on the island. And then... I guess I could turn in because my bombing time... You know, I've got like six seconds here, so I'm going to... Shoot, that's kind of a problem. That's way too close now. Plus the dead carcass is going to get in the way. Yeah, that's not a great drop, actually. Oh, so the island is in the way, that's the real problem. This island was uh, problematic, so I need to pull back. I need to be like 6.2 to get two drops in, I think. Okay, so here we go. Right on the edge. Bump and kill my speed again. Actually, this one I'll get as close as I possibly can on the drop as well. So I'm, that, I think this one needs to be more left. I think he's going too fast, realistically, for these to hit. Then again, if he turns right, you know, he's not actually traveling more along. We might actually clip him with a bunch. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, okay. So... For me to take off like a full wave of 12, like if I lose these, it takes a long time to get them back. But because I'm dropping from a distance, I'm getting the full, well, almost full waves back. So when he lands, that's me back up to 12 again. Boom, so off we go. 
Um, who's next? The line, maybe? And the midway's probably paying attention. Oh, there he is. Uh, maybe. He's, the midway's right in front of us, so if we don't get spotted... We're like, we're 6-1 on the plane detection? Aircraft carrier torpedo range... Torpedo spawn... is not actually... Detectability by C6-7. Okay, 6.7. Um, oh, it's because I've got RPF on. I have RPF on. I don't have uh, concealment expert. That's why I can be spotted. But I'm gonna try a very long range drop on the midway because he's flying planes. Maybe. Just wanna see what happens. So we're eight kilometers, right? So we're gonna one. He's moving now for the fast speed, so I'm gonna kind of just guesstimate his, um, <laughs> his. Oh, he's turning in on them, I think. So now I'm gonna get as close as I possibly can. Okay, so that's it. So he's turning in. So the planes survive though, and I think the the bombers will make it back. See how they're going high and they're going back. So it's all 12 planes. All right, 11 planes are alive, and they're returning to the carrier. Well, that's going on. Do we get any hits? So we get two hits with the flooding, but he sees them incoming, so he or he turns in or the autopilot does something. I don't think we've led him in. Well, maybe not. This might lead enough. <clears throat> oh, check it out. Three torps. So the, the very first drop was the anticipation he wasn't moving. But hey, you know what? We get a couple of good hits. I'm just going to slow down. Go up to stop so I can't be seen by the Hindenburg and maybe not by the ooh, Player Republic. Hmm. Well, I want this final torpedo bomber squadron to land so that I can. Actually, I might be hard turn to the right as well and go a core speed. There we go, I've got 12 torpedo bombers now. The Republic's a problem because he's too close to the island. I don't think I can seriously drop him. I'm going to go maybe this way. And I don't want to fight the Hindenburg because I think our Republic is a player, two players, so I'm going to hope they get rid of him. All right. Um, maybe I can, like, drop the Republic from the front. Um, something like this. So here we go. I'm not spotted yet. Uh, he might... No, he's not going to go... In the island, so eight kilometers and drop. Kill my speed. And maybe over to the right and drop, because he's going quite quick. Hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off, and drop. I, I, I think that's too cool, maybe not. Now if he turns in, which he probably is, maybe the, the last one is too much of a giveaway, because he kills his speed and he turns in. So like, long range dropping might not be a smart idea. Oh wow, check that one out. That was really panic. Ooh, two in the nose? Oh, that was fortunate on my part. So I'm sailing away. Where's my last torpedo bombers? Oh, I don't have any. Okay, so I'm still prepping planes. I'm gonna try. It's fine. So I'll go with 10 planes instead of 12. <clears throat> Is he flooding out? Cool, we got him. Alright, so he's flooding out. So I don't need to go that quickly. I'm just gonna stop. I don't wanna go too far away from the Neptune. Is that a player republic? It is. Alright. Neptune's got a bunch of kills. He's gonna be harder, I think, to kill. Um, there are torpedo bombers incoming, so I think I'm going to try and maybe protect the Grozovoy. I'll put like a plane here, kind of protects me on the Grozovoy. It makes it a little bit more awkward when he's dropped. If I had close range, I could nip over the island and drop him, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Hmm. Oh, never mind. Neptune's pretty beat up. Uh, maybe the Republic would be good. Alright, there we go. So we don't have to worry about him. Great. Um. I'm detected, but that doesn't matter. There, there's the Republic. Is he moving? See, the island is not perfect. Maybe I should go wide, or maybe I should just use the island as cover, go over the island, and then just drop straight on. So, like, stay something like this, and, like... Well, yeah, I could go for the midway as well. So, my drop... Ooh, plane... Ooh, uh, 
on summon fighters, so we'll dodge them. <clears throat> we could probably go for the midway actually, that's probably a better approach. So, zoom in, 8 kilometers, and guesstimate his speed. Okay, last two, we'll get as close as we can. Accelerate, faster, 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 faster. Boom, okay. And while that's happening, we'll get some quick rocket planes up. See, it's interesting how my fire planes are not tagging his fire planes. So I'm watching the torps. Okay, we got a torpedo, one. Uh, that's the first wave that we made it there. Anything else? Maybe not. I don't know. Because we actually see him. It's, it's hard to tell. Maybe I maybe we'd be better to wait and watch the the drop path. But he sees them incoming. He knows probably what we're doing. There's another torp. Okay, so that's probably the third wave. So we get two torps from a defended carrier that's got things. And, and the important thing is the planes may or may not have made it back. I can't honestly say. I don't see them on the minimap. Okay, so there he is. Ooh, hello. It's full health republic. We are in the lead here, so I don't need to fly over this guy. Whoa! How did I get hit? Do you see that? I'm on 3,000 health. Oh, wow. And <laughs> I don't know what happened to the planes there. I wasn't paying attention per se, but did I just get AP bombed or something? Or did I get torpedo dropped? Hmm. Torpedo bombers are still weak, so we're like... 12 minutes into the game and I'm out of torpedo bombers, I've only got dive bombers now. Maybe the battleship got a hit on me or something? Hmm. Well, I need to deal with, like, his torpedo bombers on our Republic, so I guess... I guess we're dive bombing, the... because we don't have a full TB wave. The thing is, he doesn't have a full TB wave either, but I need to sail away just because I'm so wounded. I can't afford to die. He's gonna bought maybe one drop, and it's three planes and two, so yeah, he's got maybe one. I'll zip over, see if I can't, like, punish him for it by killing them off. Yeah, obviously, look at that, he's, he's, he's losing them already. Alright, okay, so we'll zip over to the... Yeah, this guy's fine, because that's a bad drop. So we'll head over to the Republic, and see what we can do. It's not gonna hit me, so I can go north. Oh, there's the enemy midway. Right, see, how was the AA on this guy? Whoa, that's a lot of flak bubbles. Check it out. <laughs> 5,000 damage, and I've lost quite a bit of health. And I've used a. Oh, this is a regeneration. Hard turn. Turn back in. It's not perfect, but I honestly don't think I have the chance to make it perfect. I don't think the third wave is going to survive on this Republic. I'm not even sure the first wave will survive. So there, 11,000 damage. Not bad. Can we get a maybe up? Oh, hello. That's fire planes are here. Never mind. Send them back. Um, just the Republic. What we got? Tell you what, we don't have full waves anymore. See this? We we're down. Oh, okay, so like, look how long it takes to get the, like the planes to prep. It's like a glacial age. So we'll take the nine TVs that we've got. Okay. So we're missing three planes out of our f final drop wave. Um, it is ruthless, and not only that, it you can get deplaned really quickly. So it's not unlimited planes like people say. Like I don't have full attack waves right now. Um, but then again, this is a battleship, and I've always known battleships to have like really powerful from the to phase one. They've had like really powerful uh, anti-air, you know, mid and long range. 
There's no way of approaching him without flying into this volume of black kind of AA clouds. It's definitely interesting. I mean, don't get me wrong, we got three kills and 120k damage, but most of that <laughs> was from um, dropping at distance, staying outside of AA. By staying out of AA and dropping long range, our torpedo bombers are able to live so that we can attack again and again. If we lose a wave of torpedo bombers, uh, I th think there's like 18 on deck, so 12 take off, you lose 18. It means you only got six, it means you don't have a full second wave. 